Hello students, welcome to the channel EduScore. In this video, we will discuss class 7 de geography in the first chapter, environment in the important questions and exercise questions. So, if you want to see the detailed explanation videos of this chapter, I have already uploaded it in the part title. I will link the description box in the description box. And also, I have covered important points or notes of this chapter as well. I will link the description box in the description box. You can come back to this video. Okay, so let us get started with the exercise questions. So, the first question is answer the following questions. So, the first part is what is an ecosystem? So, ecosystem is one definition in the yellow box. Uh, this one ecosystem so you can say it is a system formed by the interaction of all living organisms with each other and with the physical and chemical factors of the environment in which they live all linked by transfer of energy and material e definition thing you can tell this paragraph as well so kochodi explain edum undu ningalku parayanengile this paragraph all plants animals and human beings depend on their immediate surroundings often they are also interdependent on each other this relation between the living organisms as well as the relation between the organisms and their surroundings form an ecosystem there could be an ecosystem of a large rainforest grassland desert mountains lake river ocean and even a small pond so you can uh, write either of these definitions. This uh, is explain and proper definition. So it is better that you learn both these uh, paragraphs. Okay, so now we'll move on to the second question, which is what do you mean by natural environment? So natural environment is which comes from nature. So it can be living organisms or non-living organisms, for example, trees or soil. So both of these are natural, uh, are a part of natural environment. But it is um, like one is living organism, that is tree. But uh, soil is a non-living organism. So in order to answer this question, we can say natural environment is our surrounding, which is created by nature. So it can be of living or it contains both living organisms as well as non-living organisms. Uh, example, trees, mountains, oceans, air, soil, rocks, etc. Next question, what are the major components of the environment? So, uh, we know, uh, diagram there are three major components. Okay, so there are three major components of the uh, environment which is natural human and human made okay so ningale uh, ingane just adine etra mark aanu ee question etra mark aanu adin anusarichana ningale idine etra explain cheyanam nalladu nokkandathu if it is a three mark question you can just answer that the components of environment are natural components human components and human made components and adinde example state here uh, so natural in the side le you can write uh, atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere, biosphere, human components, le you can write individual, family, community, religion, education, economic, political situation, and human made, le you can write buildings, parks, bridges, roads, industries, monuments. So, if this is a three mark question, you can write it in this way. But if it is more than three mark, make sure to explain uh, even the examples that is, hydrosphere, atmosphere, lithosphere, biosphere building sparks like human made items in a particular explain that we built these uh, human made items for our convenience uh, because of our growing needs and human components in a particular uh, video we will see in the first class you can check it out in the description box but to summarize uh, individual our thoughts so we are an individual at first and then we have a family which we are a part of and a lot of families together form community and these communities follow religions different religions and everyone needs education and um, we have to buy and sell things due to which there comes the 
economic part of it when we have to deal with situations within different states or which is in turn internal to the country and also external to the country we'll have to look into political situations so all these things i have explained in this chapter but nyan ipo summarize edu so you can if it's more than 3 marks you have to explain all these things okay give four examples of human made environment so nammle human made environment inde examples nammle ipo just nokkittilayirunno so that is all these buildings parks bridges roads industries etc all that is an example of uh human made environment next question what is lithosphere so lithosphere endana ad nammala earth inde etto melilla layer aanu adinde mele rocks undu soil undu minerals undu and adinde mele aanu nammala ella sambhavam cheynathu like for example buildings agriculture all these things happen on lithosphere so endana answer lithosphere is the top layer topmost layer of the earth or the crust of the earth it is a hard layer and it consists of soil rocks minerals the lithosphere also has continents and oceans on top of it and there are various landforms on top of the lithosphere like mountains plateaus valleys fields etc plains etc and lithosphere is where humans survive humans live they build their homes they build industries they do agriculture on lithosphere so lithosphere is very important to us humans and other animals and plants so just what is lithosphere and when you can write it in one sentence if it is a one mark question but if it is a three mark question you can explain like how i did nammle ee exercise question le lithosphere and biosphere and definition e choichittullo but you will have to learn every other like atmosphere hydrosphere other the definitions also it's there in the textbook okay now let us look at the sixth question what are the two major components of biotic environment biotic environment endana life ulla environment aanu so adile rendu major components aanu plants undu pinna animals undu nammal humans um we come under the category of animals so we can say that the two major components of biotic environment are plants and animals what is biosphere again we have to learn atmosphere hydrosphere also so i'll explain what biosphere is so biosphere is the combination of lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere which together help in the creation and survival of plants and animals biosphere is that domain in which life exists so that is biosphere now let us look at the second uh, major question which is tick the correct answer which is not a natural ecosystem desert aquarium forest idile edana natural allathathu aquarium alle which is not a component of human environment land religion community land it is a part of natural environment what which is a human made environment mountain sea road idile human made endana road which is a threat to environment growing plant growing population growing crops idile environment ne prashnam pattunathu endu kaaranam irikkum growing population kaaranam adu endha chale nammle population engane increase aavunno adin anusarichu nammle needs um increase aavum adu kaaranam nammle iniyum environment ne change cheyum appo environment ne adoru threat aanu adu adin oru mosha aanu alle so that's why the threat to environment is growing population next match the following biosphere so biosphere is narrow zone where land water and air interact okay atmosphere atmosphere is blanket of air which surrounds the earth hydrosphere is the domain of water environment it is the relation between organism and their surroundings no 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 uh, that is ecosystem sorry so environment is our surroundings okay so now let us look at the uh, fourth question which is give reasons so the first part of it it man modifies his environment in the karanana humans our environment na modify cheynadu nanu question so um nammal endunokke aanu nammala needs undu appa adina fulfill cheyan nammal nammala environment na maatam varuthum nammal soil ubeykum avide nammala agriculture cheyum nammalku food nu vendite nammala agriculture cheyum അപ്പം എക്സിസ്റ്റിംഗ് ലാൻഡിലുള്ള ട്രീസിനൊക്കെ കട്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ട് അവിടെ ഫീൽഡ് ആക്കും എന്നിട്ട് അവിടെ നമ്മൾ ക്രോപ്സിന് കുഴിച്ചിടും എന്നിട്ട് അത് ഗ്രോ ആയിട്ട് വി യൂസ് ഇറ്റ് ഫോർ ഫുഡ് പിന്നെ 
നമ്മൾ ഈ ട്രീസിനെ കട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നത് എന്തിനാണ് നമ്മൾക്ക് വീടുണ്ടാക്കാൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇൻഡസ് ട്രീസിനെ വെക്കാൻ നമ്മളവിടെ ട്രീസിനെ കട്ട് ചെയ്യും പിന്നെ വി യൂസ് ഓൾ ദ വാട്ടർ റിസോഴ്സസ് ദാറ്റ് ആർ അവൈലബിൾ അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ പോണ്ടിലെ വെള്ളം ഉപയോഗിക്കും റിവേഴ്സിലെ വെള്ളം ഉപയോഗിക്കും ഡാംസ് കിട്ടും നമുക്ക് വെള്ളം കിട്ടേണ്ടിയിട്ട് അങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യും നമ്മൾ ബ്രിഡ്ജസ് ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യും നമ്മൾ റെസ്റ്റോറൻസ് ഓപ്പൺ ചെയ്യും പിന്നെ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസിൽ നിന്നും വരുന്ന വേസ്റ്റ് വാട്ട് വേസ്റ്റ് മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് ഇറ്റ് ഗോസ് ഇൻ ടു വാട്ടർ ബോഡീസ് റൈറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ബാഡ് തിങ് വി പൊല്യൂട്ട് ദി എയർ ആൻഡ് വാട്ടർ സോ ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ആർ ദ തിങ്സ് ദറ്റ് വി ഡു സോ ടു ടെൽ ദി ആൻസർ മാൻ മോഡിഫൈസ് ഹിസ് എൻവയൺമെൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ടു ഗെറ്റ് ഹിസ് നീഡ്സ് ഫുൾഫിൽഡ് സോ വെനവർ എ ഹ്യൂമൻ ഹാസ് എനി നീഡ്സ് we change the environment in which we are present deforestation occurs for agriculture or for setting up industries or for our own living that is to build houses and apartments we use water bodies so we use water from ponds rivers oceans we build dams on rivers in order to get more water we pollute water when the waste materials from the industries go into the water bodies so that is a very bad thing okay and then we use air to breathe we use cars for transportation and the fumes of the cars pollute air so all these things you can give as an example so the second question is give reason plants and animals depend on each other so പ്ലാൻസും ആനിമൽസും അങ്ങോട്ടും ഇങ്ങോട്ടും ഡിപ്പെൻഡൻ്റ് ആണ് അതിനെന്താണ് റീസൺ എന്നാണ് ചോദിക്കുന്നത് സോ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ഫസ്റ്റ് തിങ് ദറ്റ് പ്ലാൻസ് ആൻഡ് ആനിമൽസ് ആർ എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് എക്കോ സിസ്റ്റം സോ ദേ ആർ ഡിപ്പെൻഡൻറ്റ് ഓൺ ഈച്ച് അതർ ആൻഡ് ദറ്റ്സ് വൈ ഇറ്റ് ഫോംസ് എക്കോ സിസ്റ്റം ഓൾസോ റൈറ്റ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് അങ്ങോട്ടും ഇങ്ങോട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഡിപ്പെൻഡൻസി ആണ് സോ പ്ലാൻസിലും ട്രീസിലും ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന ഫ്രൂട്ട്സും വെജിറ്റബിൾസും നമ്മൾ കഴിക്കും ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഫുഡ് ഫോർ എസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ട്രീസ് provide shelter to animals as well as birds so birds build their nest on trees animals live on trees or under the trees humans use trees to build houses and for firewood and other purposes we animal waste that is um, cow dung angante paladum alengle even animal waste it is used as nutrients or manure for the trees and plants the dead animals or the body and bones and other parts of dead animals it provides nutrients to the soil which helps the growth of the plants and trees then plants provide oxygen humans or animals need oxygen in order to survive and humans and animals breathe out carbon dioxide which the plants need for respiration so this is uh, they both are directly dependent on each other so these are some examples of uh, plant and animal dependency on each other next is activity imagine an ideal environment where we would love to live draw the picture of your ideal environment so ningalku etthom ideal aite ningalude dream place ennu parayna or place endana adinde diagram ningal draw cheyanam so as a part of this activity but you can let me know what is your dream place to live in the comments down below so my dream place to live is a place with mountains and slightly cold weather with lots of greenery and birds and small animals around me so this is my dream place to live so let me know what is your dream place to live okay with that nammal ee exercise questions complete edu നമുക്ക് ഇനി അടുത്ത ക്ലാസ്സിൽ കാണാം സോ ഐ സി യു ഇൻ മൈ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് ടിൽ ദൻ ബൈ